That was the original Pajama Boy from 2013 when he appeared in an ad, uh, an ad uh, promoting Obamacare. And the reason why I started thinking about him yesterday and today is that uh, uh, Rush Limbaugh was talking about him yesterday. Well, he referred to him yesterday. He was talking about the the whistleblower, uh, how the whistleblower is, is like a pajama boy. Uh, oh, and by the way, before we get any further, some of you are probably wondering why the sunglasses uh, maybe you're wondering, maybe that has something to do with my week-long Caribbean vacation to the, that I'm going off to next week. Uh, well, it could, but actually, I, uh, I, 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 I kind of pinched myself here with my reading uh, computer glasses yesterday and left me black and blue. So rather than detract from my usual perfection, I got the sunglasses on. Anyway, Rush Limbaugh was talking about mentioning, uh, comparing the whistleblower uh, uh, in uh, the second-hand whistle whistleblower to uh, Pajama Boy. So I got to thinking, well, yeah, that's interesting, but what happened to the original Pajama Boy? So I did some research. His name was Ethan Krupp, and he was a member of the uh, Obama organization, uh, Organizing for America, and uh, he became, as we saw, the world-famous or infamous poster boy uh, for Obamacare, and he was he was widely widely mocked, even by a lot of liberals, as Pajama Boy. He became known. That's it. That's that was imprinted on him, Pajama Boy. And his name, as I say, his name was Ethan Krupp. So I'm thinking, okay, what what's this is six years later, what what became of him? And I did some a lot of research on the internet, and guess what? His existence is completely gone. Well, he had a presence on the internet before he uh, became the infamous uh, Pajama Boy, but he erased it all and never came back. He, it's like he's disappeared from the planet. So, uh, you know, I'm wondering what the hell. And I, I, you know, and of course, as part of my research, I saw some of his background. It turned out he was the editor of a college humor newspaper. And in real life, uh, this Ethan Krupp was, uh, he, uh, he was a little more sarcastic than what, what we saw. Also, there was a brief uh, commercial with him uh, as Pajama Boy, as, as a character. But he was uh, kind of a real sarcastic guy in real life as, as a humor editor. He used to mock and make fun of a lot of people. And then what happened, the worst nightmare for him anyway, is that he became the object from millions of people of mockery and apparently he just couldn't handle it. Now the thing is, is he could have redeemed himself. He could have easily redeemed himself. For example, uh, Bill Clinton, after, uh, a lot of people don't remember this, but he was mocked quite a bit by his fellow Democrats in 1988 for going way too long uh, on uh, introducing uh, the uh, Democrat nominee that year at the convention of uh, Michael Dukakis. So what did he do? He took the lemons, the lemons of bad publicity being mocked for going too long, and, and, and he turned it into lemonade. It's like Johnny Carson was, was joking about him and everything, so he appeared on the Johnny Carson show, and I think Arsenio Hall, and he played his saxophone, and he came, you know, he, he went along with the joke, and he came across cool, and guess what? 92, he was nominated and elected. But for some reason, Pajama Boy just, he, he couldn't do that. He couldn't, he couldn't, he couldn't just take that, that lemon of Pajama Boy and turn it into lemonade. And you know what? For some specifics as to how he could have done this, let's take a look at this blog from December 21st, 2013 soon after Pajama Boy became famous, and and see what he could have done to have redeemed himself. All right, so here we are, December 21st, 2013. This is a uh, interesting blog, uh, Chicago News Bench. And they're talking about Pajama Boy. And this is fairly recent, because he really came into the news just a month earlier. So here it is. Here, here's what he says. Uh, could Saturday Night Live have saved Pajama Boy's reputation? Maybe, 
but it's too late now. So let's let's see a little bit of background on Pajama Boy here. Do I even need to explain who Pajama Boy is? He first appeared in early November, but the world was largely unaware of him until a few days ago. Suddenly, he became one of the hottest internet memes and a favorite target of ridicule for conservative pundits. Pajama Boy is a derogatory name that conservative pundits pinned on him. The actor's real name is Ethan Krupp, and he will forever be remembered as a dweeb in a one-piece uh, played pajamas, delicately clutching a cup of hot cocoa, and a piece produced by Organizing for America for use by BarackObama.com. There's a horrible video, too, in which Krupp uh, portrays the same dweeby dude. His family is weirdly uncomfortable about having a frank discussion about getting health insurance. Krupp is a 20-something grad of the University of Wisconsin-Madison, an aspiring actor. Krupp's career now seems suddenly aborted by the severe trashing he's gotten over the past few days. It's probably safe to say that Krupp has been forever typecast in our collective memory as a smirking little a-hole who has no idea what real life is about and wants to lecture you about how to live your own. The decision to let himself become the new face of Obamacare has probably destroyed his acting career. With his world seeming to crumble all around him, there might have been one thing that could have saved young Ethan's tattered reputation. An appearance on Saturday Night Live on the night of December 21st. Any later date beyond that will be too late to resurrect him. Nothing else can undo what Krupp has done to himself, which is to retreat from public scrutiny, go silent, and hide in the shadows. An appearance on SNL is not as far-fetched as you might think. Krupp is a student at the Second City Improv Theater Group, which in turn is well-connected to Saturday Night Live. Krupp was a student at the Second City in Chicago when the video was made. The mother in the video is portrayed by Kimmy Kopanek Warner, an associate facility uh, faculty member of the Second City Training Center. One wonders if anybody at the Second City tried to arrange for SNL to invite Krupp on, in, onto the show. That would have been a good move. All right. Imagine a sketch that spoofs the ready to have the talk video. Envision a skit in which a frustrated pajama boy sits at his computer going crazy because the Obamacare website won't let him sign up. Yeah. Imagine a skit that features the Wussy Krupp as a tough guy superhero, tongue-in-cheek, of course. The result might have allowed a nearly instant rehabilitation of Ethan Krupp. He would have shed the pajama boy stink and stuck it to all those mean conservative bully bloggers. He would have turned it around. But, but Ethan Krupp is one of the guys who runs for Krupp. The moment any criticism comes his way. He was an editor of the Madison Misnomer, a humor rag that had no problem with ripping other people apart. Now it's Krupp being publicly ridiculed, and he can't take the heat. Rather than write his sudden notoriety and play it for laughs and do some self-promotion, the spineless fool has has the last several days scrub, scrubbing the internet of any traces of himself that he can access. He can access. He deleted or locked his accounts at YouTube, Google Plus, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and more after he was outed as Pajama Boy. How could he think that this would preserve his image and that the world would not notice that all of his online presence suddenly disappeared? Think of it another way. Suppose some actor makes a debut in a major film and his looks and performance are widely ridiculed in the media. In reaction, that actor deletes all of his social media accounts and refuses to answer the phone. He just disappears. What do you think of that actor? What would you think of that actor? Well, that's what Krupp did. In light of his, his cowardice, it is not unreasonable to expect that Ethan Krupp would have accepted an invitation in light of his car is not it is not reasonable to expect that ethan krupp would have accepted an invitation to mock himself on saturday night live the folks at snl are risk takers after all
but they know a chicken shit loser when they see one and are not willing to take that kind of risk. The last thing they want is a sniveling amateur like Krupp to freeze up on stage or do something to mess up the show, which is broadcast live. Sure, he might have appeared on SNL if they had asked him. Asked them. Sure, someone there might have talked him back to his senses, what few senses he had. Only a self-absorbed fool with no sense would have not foreseen the reaction to the Obamacare ad and video. For an aspiring improv actor, Krupp seems oddly out of touch with who he is and how guys like him are perceived. He's learning that now the hard way. Well, if Krupp can't achieve fame, wrote Jim Treacher at the Daily Caller, infamy is the next best thing. Sure, but Krupp has achieved world historic infamy, infamy, and that's never good. Well, that's it. He could have redeemed himself, and he, he blew that opportunity. And now he has basically disappeared from the planet. It's like he's on a in a Pajama Boy witness protection program. But I don't know. Can he go on forever like this for the rest of his life? Is that what you want to do, Ethan, Pajama Boy? I'll tell you what. I'm going to make a deal with you. Maybe you could still redeem yourself. You can... You can, you can uh, joke about about the infamy and I'm curious people people out there would be interested in is what became a pajama boy after he became pajama boy and so I I'm giving you an opportunity I'm gonna put my uh, uh, gmail uh, ad uh, address uh, down below so if you want to contact me you can do so but I'm giving I'm gonna give you the opportunity to appear here on a dummy funnies for an interview I I'm here in South Florida. Anywhere, if you're anywhere in South Florida, people visit here all the time. Just, just contact me, and I'll do an interview with you. And I, I promise, I won't mock you. I'm, just, I'm just curious what happened. And, uh, and, I, and now, if it's okay with you, now if you, if you say no, I won't do it. But if it's okay with you, I would like to do the interview while wa wearing a pair of pajamas and with a, a cup of hot coffee in my hand. But, you know, that's up to you. That's up to you, Ethan. I, I would recommend that. And uh, so I'm curious. I would love to interview you. Please contact me anytime you're in South Florida, anywhere, whether you're in Palm Beach and, or Broward or Miami-Dade County. Just contact me, and we'll get together, and we'll find out. And you know what? This, this might be your path back to redemption. And and I, you know I don't get it. You you obviously from what I saw on the blog, you you were like into comedy and and stuff like that. This this could be your you could still you could still have a path back as pajama boy. I mean, take the joke. Yeah, I know you're you're really upset. And you know I mean how did I mean? Of course you were a lot younger then. You know like like you were making fun of people and then all of a sudden you became the butt of jokes from virtually millions upon millions maybe billions of people but you know what go with the flow take the joke run with it and and you could redeem yourself instead of instead of staying in hiding so that's it that's my message to pajama boy Ethan Krupp please get in contact with me we'll do a, I'll do a respectful interview with you here on a dummy funnies we'll joke around maybe a little bit you know, I, I would recommend that, that I could do the interview while dressed in pajamas with a cup of hot cocoa. Of course, it could be just a cup of bourbon, if, as far as anybody would know. And let's talk about it. What happened to you? What have what I've been doing for the last six years? Um, why? Why? And the other thing, other thing is, why didn't you take that opportunity? I'm just curious. Why, why, why didn't you take the opportunity? It sounds like you could have appeared on a Saturday Night Live or some other show. And, and and gone with the flow have turned lemons into lemonade but I'm, I'm looking forward to an interview with pajama boy Ethan Krupp see you later subscribe to the dummy funnies now and, and, and don't forget to hit that notification bell please